this cute little frog here. It's a really cute, smiley face, blue eyes. This is the E6 wireless earbud, which I actually bought from Shopee Singapore about three months ago. And I finally have the chance to do a proper review on this cute little froggy. Hi everyone, it's Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I mainly focus on reviewing and testing budget and affordable wireless earbud, hoping to help you to decide before you hit the buy button. So without further ado, let's get into today's coverage. Now, the E6, sometimes I'll call it a froggy, uh, in Shopee Singapore, uh, it has actually 5 out of 5 stars, but it has only sold around 14 sets. Something wrong there? Such a cute thing, but it has only sold so little. But at $9, how's the sound? How's the battery life? Well, so stay tuned because we're going to be finding out all the answers to the questions right now. So first off, in terms of the packaging, it's really very basic. Um, when I first received uh, the wireless earbuds delivered by Shopping Singapore, the packaging was very basic, nothing spectacular to shout about. Um, but I would say it's the moment I took it out from the box, it's a very unique design, considering that the, the case you see here, the lid, it's actually the face of a smiling frog with blue eyes. I find it pretty cute, you know, a big smiley face, all right? Mine is actually a green color, but in fact, it actually comes with three other colors. I think that is um, black, that is blue, that is also, um, I think, pink, right? So it comes in total four colors. Mine is actually uh, green. And the body is actually made of, you know, I think this is uh, ABS plastic, as you can hear. Right, it has a matte finishing throughout, except for this groove here which is actually uh, shiny in finishing, right? But what I like about it is that it doesn't scratch easily because of the matte finishing. And at the back of the case, you actually find a micro USB with an LED indicator. Now, there's actually no logo on the case except for the two eyes here and a smiley face, which look like a frog. Well, I like it, but though I might say that not many people would appreciate such a design, probably those people who love a frog would buy it, well, I guess that's one of the, I think, minus me, you know, I think the other four, 13 people, they are probably frog lovers. Yeah, kudos to frog lovers. Now, um, to access the, the earbuds, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is just lift this froggy face, it's actually a lid, lift it up, and you actually see that the eyes, which are actually on the lid, they are actually the earbuds. All right, the blue eyes you see they're actually earbuds now i would say that the design of the earbuds you see here oops all right the design of the earbuds you see here they are actually pretty similar they're quite similar to the samsung buds live aka the beans but a tad bigger i would say a lot bigger all right and if you look at the ear tip over here that's a pretty long so it actually go deeper into your ear, uh, your ear canal. But of course, the silicon seal which is provided, uh, I like it. Firstly, it's soft, and second, it's pretty thick. Uh, and this will actually contribute to uh, an additional uh, physical noise cancellation when you put them on. Wearing the E6 uh, earbuds for long hours actually didn't cause any ear pain or you know ear fatigue. Though I have to say that because of its large size, uh, you actually need to wear it tilting up, all right, so that it, you will actually feel it there in your ears, no matter what you do. But of course, it's actually light. That it's just that it doesn't jiggle around in hanging outside of your ear. The earbuds are actually rated to be IPX5. So those of you who are worried whether the earbuds will be spoiled if it's soaked in sweat, don't need to worry. IPX5, it means that it is actually sweat resistant. And if you find it that it's too sweaty, don't need to worry. You can just wash the earbuds under a regular running tap, make it dry, 
put it on back again and the music will continue to play. Right, that is actually IPX5 rating. Now other than that, the eyes you see here, all right, on both earbuds, they actually house the touch controls. All right, it has actually all the essential controls you need except for volume control. Those are not included. And another thing to take note is that the controls are totally non-customizable. You can't change it to what you like. There is also no dedicated app uh, for added controls and there's also no built-in EQ. Right, so but of course you can get it done in your phone or in your music app like Apple Music or Spotify or you know Tidal. On the daily usage, the battery life of the earbuds, right, it comes close to two hours at 100% volume listening to just music. Uh, when it comes to phone calls, they last about one hour. And when it's actually low battery, uh, you tend to get a little bit of intermittent disconnection from your phone and then uh, it will die off immediately. Now in terms of the charging case, one thing to take note is that there are no battery indicator. It is actually able to recharge um, the earbuds up to three times. And the good thing is that it's able to actually charge the earbuds independently if you wish to use the earbuds singular. That means just use them individually. There's a, as I mentioned, there's a USB, there's a micro USB port at the back and it takes around one hour to charge the earbuds from 0 to 100 and if you want to actually charge the casing, it will take about two hours to charge it up from 0 to 100. Now, when you actually plug in the micro USB port, the LED light which is just above the micro USB port it will actually light up in red and then when it's actually fully charged it will turn to blue now in terms of connectivity it's pretty simple all you need to do is take the earbuds out and follow the instructions uh, given in the manual you actually see the name pop up on your bluetooth manual click on it and then within a few seconds it will be connected it's a breeze whether it's on Android phone or iPhone or my MacBook or on my Windows laptop. It's a breeze. Now, after you actually connect it, you're done with the pairing, you're able to use the earbuds independently, instantly. Subsequent reconnection with your earbuds and your devices is pretty fast. For me, usually it takes about three seconds, uh, two to three seconds, sometimes four. Other than that, switching between phone calls and music and videos are pretty, are pretty okay. Uh, it will pause the music, go to the phone call. Once it's done, it will switch back to the music and it will resume playing. Now, the touch controls on the earbuds are pretty accurate. I have actually no issues using the touch control at all on a daily basis. It works good, all right, as expected. Now, in terms of music quality and sound quality. Now, the volume output on the E6 um, is not very loud, even at 100% volume. It's, I would say that it's pretty soft even at 50%, right? But of course, this is a good thing for some of you here who actually do, but you do not want to have um, a pair of earbuds which are very, very loud. All right, so you might want to consider the E6 if you prefer earbuds which are on the softer side. On the quieter side, the E6 is for you. Now, in terms of the music quality, I would say in terms of bass, there's little to none. Uh, there's zero sound stage. Don't even expect anything for like instrument separation. None of that. Uh, I would say it's um, overall music feels pretty flat, but there's one good thing about the E6 is that if there are any vocals or there are any you know people talking the clarity on those are very good so i would say that it's it's great for podcasts the e6 you know the froggy is actually good for podcasts or if you're watching like how-to videos you're watching like explanation videos or like me this type of videos they're doing a review videos there's a lot of talking the e6 is good for those but otherwise generally um, I wouldn't really recommend the E6 for movies, neither would I actually recommend it for music.
Now, in terms of using the E6 for games, um, audio quality is so-so uh, passable. You can hear where the noise are coming, the sound effects are coming from. Though, I would have to say is that that is a significant audio delay. So at the end of the day, I will not recommend you to get the E6 for gaming. Now, in the next segment of the video, the upcoming sound clips, is to actually demonstrate the microphone quality of the E6 wireless earbud. So don't forget to put on your headphones. The first audio clip you hear is actually to demonstrate the microphone quality of the E6 when you're using them indoors or when you're using them at your home. Hi everyone, this is a mark test on the E6 wireless earbud. I'm currently in an indoor environment. Let me know what you think of the voice quality. This is a mic test on the E6 wireless earbud. I'm currently in an indoor environment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now, the second sound clip is to actually demonstrate the microphone quality of the E6 while it's here, but if you're trying to talk in a coffee shop. Hi everyone, this is the mic test on the E6 while it's here, but the mic test on the E6 while it's here, but I'm currently inside a coffee house. So let me know what you think of the voice quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The next audio clip is to demonstrate the microphone quality of the E6 if you're walking around a shopping mall and answering a phone call. Hi everyone, this is a mic test on the E6 by the earbud. This is a mic test on the E6 by the earbud. I'm currently walking around a shopping mall, so let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. Now, the last audio clip is actually to demonstrate the microphone quality of the E6 if you intend to use it with like video conferencing such as like Zoom, um, Skype, you know, Google Meet. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the E6 while it's here, but this is a mic test on the E6 while it's here, but I'm actually going through Zoom. This is going through Zoom. Let me know what you think of the voice quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. All right. Finally, we have come to the most important question, which is, is it worthwhile to get the E6 wireless earbud? Is it worthwhile to get the Froggy? Okay, worthwhile. Well, let's look at the pros and cons, shall we? Pros, it's a very cute design. Um, it's usable microphone quality, usable. It's good for podcasts because of its high, of its good clarity on vocals and voices. Uh, on the con side, it's not suitable for gaming, neither is it suitable for movies, neither is it suitable for um, music. It has no battery indication. It has very poor battery life. It only lasts about two hours for music. So at this price point, I would rather you look at other wireless earbuds. Um, I'll give you some examples. One of them is actually the L21 Pro. If you want to check it out, you can click on the link here. You can check out my review on the L21 Pro. Alternatively, you can also consider another one, which is actually the Amoy F9. You can click on the link here to actually check out the review which I which I did on the Amoy F9 wireless earbud. 
still i'm not gonna stop you from buying it if you want but i would actually recommend you to buy something else or save your money and there you have it thank you very much for watching my coverage of the e6y this year but i hope that it has actually helped you if you did it would be so amazing if you could actually smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't and most importantly share this particular video with your friends who are actually considering the e6 wireless earbud as well besides that my name is johnny and i'll see you in the next one bye bye